Where is he? He said that this would be the rendezvous point. I hope that hunter I met at that club didn't trick me. Or I will track him down and rip his heart out myself. I... Oh, you're here. Well, I was waiting for you for some time. This was your idea, genius. Now, tell me, what information do you have on the so-called abandoned cemetery? Hmm? So, these are the coordinates. Let me have a closer look at these, please. Hmm. So this is a complete map of the city and the outskirts, correct? Yes, but as you can see, this abandoned cemetery you're talking about should be about 30 miles out of town. Why? Because the town's local cemeteries are within the city's borders, not outside the town. But considering that you said abandoned, I expect that it most likely looks unkempt and overgrown by nature at this point. So, stranger, you haven't explained to me why you're so desperate to find the cemetery. Who or what was buried there for you to be so eager to hunt down that you would enlist the help of some vampire like me? It's a personal matter? <laughs> Listen, Buster, let's get one thing straight. I'm not going to risk my life and existence over a secretive matter, okay? You don't have to give me the whole spiel, but please be willing enough to be somewhat transparent with me. Fair enough? Good. Hmm. So, you're looking for a burial plot. Okay. But the burial plot of whom? Listen, I'm not going to play 20 questions with you, alright? I can see that this pains you, and I'm trying to be accommodating to that pain, but please be willing to explain as much as you are able to express. Oh, your sister was buried there, and the flood that happened a few years ago destroyed her resting place? Oh, Hunter. I'm very sorry, and I apologize for being too forceful to know the truth about the situation. Thank you for entrusting me with this very sensitive information. <sighs> oh, do you hear that? The storm has calmed down a bit, so we don't have to worry about stepping in through too much mud. Well, let's go ahead and move on, shall we? Okay, so thank Dracula I did not wear my good shoes in this marsh. No offense to your late sister's, you know, burial site and everybody else's burial site here, of course. <sighs> it's a shame what happened to this place. The dead don't deserve this destruction to their own final resting place. Hey, I have a question. Um, what was your sister's name? Emily? Hmm. That's a nice name. I presume you miss her more than anything in the world. Yeah, nothing can replace somebody like that. Well, let's go look for your sister. You're welcome, Hunter. Okay, so what's the plan now, Hunter? It looks pretty bad here. Okay, you have a scanner that could help us track your sister's resting place or whatever's left of it? Hmm, but how would the scanner help? Oh, she was buried with a signet ring. And you have a signet ring as well. You want to find her with the ring. Okay. So, turn it on, and I hope it works. Wow, that's some um, high-tech stuff, Hunter. Your coven does teach you right, I suppose, for your line of work. Hmm? What do I mean? <laughs> In all seriousness, do you really think that your fellows will be happy with you when they find out that you teamed up with a vampire on an undisclosed personal mission? I didn't think so. I have a question for you. Why couldn't you ask your team to help you if they're so righteous and glorious? Hmm? 
They turned it down, since it didn't involve any importance to them or their mission. However, it was important to you. I see. What's my point? My point is that a vampire hunter and an actual vampire, hello, are wandering through a ruined, abandoned cemetery. It sounds like the setup to a stupid joke. <sighs> the quicker we find your sister and her reign, the quicker we can leave here. What? You found her? What? Here? Do you know any spells or magic, Hunter? Why do I ask? Because her resting place isn't destroyed like everyone else's in this entire cemetery. But you told me earlier that the flood destroyed everything and her burial site. That was a maybe? I don't like going off on maybes. <sighs> so, the magic in the signet ring protects the living or dead from destruction. Oh, so that's why I couldn't kill you the other night at the club. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm helping you, remember? So, you want a shovel? Good. Because you're going to be shoveling by yourself. Because I just feel wrong digging up your sister, you know? Yeah. So, get to shoveling, mister. So, are you done? You got the ring? Good. So you can climb up out of there. And <sighs> this time around, I'll help you rebury her again. Well, that's over with, and... Oh, you brought her flowers out of respect for her. That's very sweet, considering that you dug her up, and now, you know, we just dug her right back into the soil. Weird, but sweet. Any words of peace to say to her, or are you good? I can leave you alone if you want to have a private moment with her, considering the circumstance. No? I can stay? All right, your choice. Do I have anything to say? I don't know who she was, or what she did in her life, Hunter. But I assume she was loved and cared for, I suppose, if I am any judge. I'm sorry she died, and I'm sorry that this is the only way you can visit her. My only consolation is my philosophy. And that is that the dead aren't truly gone. They are omnipresent in my mind. Especially if you had tight bonds with them as well when they've passed on. And you're still here, so that counts. So I like to say that your baby sister Emily will always be a presence around you and with you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, now, let's get out of here, Hunter. And thank you for treating me like a person and not a monster. <laughs>